Hi all, welcome to the new episode of Tech Insert. Today we are going to make a transformerless power supply where the both input lines are isolated with the capacitor. So you can use a 2 pin plug here and reverse connection of plug in the power socket will not create any problem. Subscribe to my channel for getting new videos like this. Also press bell icon so you will never miss any videos from my channel. Let's make this one. I am not packaging this inside any box or anywhere. This is only to show you that this will work perfectly fine. This is polyester capacitor 0 0.47 MFT 450 volt. If you want more output current then you can parallelly connect two or more similar capacitor or use more value capacitor like 155 which is 1.5 microfarad. I have not shown a fuse in the circuit diagram. Please add a fuse while assembling this circuit. Please like and share this video among your friends. We have completed the soldering process. Black is negative and brown wire is positive 12 volt. Do you remember this extension box? This is infrared controlled extension box that we made earlier. I will add the link to the video in the description box. Those who have not seen it can watch using this link. Now it is time for testing. 
I will insert the 2 pin plug in the extension board socket and will switch it on. We need to use a remote control for switching it on. Now you can see the LED becomes green. Now for you I will touch the output line using one hand. There is only 12 volt and less than 100 milliampere at the output. You can see using my two fingers I am touching at the output line. Let's measure the voltage at the output. This voltmeter is also made by me and that link will also be given to the description box. You can see it is showing 12.2 volt at the output. Now I will reverse the 2 pin plug and will touch the output line. I am switching it on using the remote and I am touching the output line and there is no issues to me. We will check the output voltage once again. It is also showing 12.2 volt which means it is working perfectly fine. Now I will use a line tester to show you how it is lighting. Since the room is having good brightness, you cannot see the lighting of neon lab. I will switch the studio lights off. And we will test once again. You can see now the neon lamp is lighting. We will reverse the connection of the 2 pin plug and will test it. Without switching off I had done that and never do that and always make the switch off while doing this. Now you can see that face or live line is also reversed. Now we can connect some lots to the output line. This is 12 volt 2 watt LED and let's connect and check it. This is LED light RA and is having polarity. I am not using any current limiting resistor because we know there is very small current at the output line. You can see when starting the LED light is having good brightness then it is reducing. This is because the capacitor is acting as a cell and is discharging immediately. Now we can check how much current this circuit can deliver to the output. I am checking it by short circuiting. You can see it is showing 100 milliampere. It will not be 100 milliampere. Most probably it is less than 100 milliampere. Most of the current will be dropped by these two capacitors. That is why the LED is lighting with less brightness. If you like our video, please click like button. If you have any suggestions, please comment on this video so that we will know that. Subscribe the channel for more things like this. This is Tech Insert signing off. See you in another video. Till then, goodbye and please take care.